race to the Arctic, baby. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at. Just got to Dawson City, which is the last town, last settlement for the Arctic Circle, and they told us it's closed, so we can't get to the Arctic Ocean. Oh, for God's sake! Honestly, we didn't even realise there were any regional COVID regulations in Canada. You know, first we couldn't get to Alaska. And then now we can't get to the Arctic. We've come all this way up here. We're not really sure what to do. One thing is that the edge of the Arctic Circle is in the Yukon. So we can go up and basically put our feet in the Arctic Circle. But we can't get to the ocean. So, like we said, we've just got to roll with the punches and keep going. And keep going, we will. Following yet another setback, we made the decision to go to the Arctic Circle anyway and to tackle the Dempster Highway as planned. In the meantime, we spent our final night in Dawson City, the home to gold prospectors and fur trappers, and the hub of the 1898 Klondike Gold Rush. After walking around town and admiring the strange Wild West architecture, we had one final visit to pay to the downtown hotel home of the infamous Sour Toe Cocktail, a shot of whiskey containing a human toe. Has the toe been swallowed? Is that a pipe? It's Okay, good morning. I'm not, I think it's Saturday, uh, probably about 10 a.m. And we're heading to Tombstone, Dempster, the Arctic Circle and the Eagle Plains. Feelings today? I mean, I don't feel great. Well, we passed out of the comfort zone and we are going away from society in, a, in, in effect. If something goes wrong while we're heading up north, after this point, it's gonna be a lot harder to get help. There's snow up there, the bad tracks, people keep asking us, are you going up, go up the Dalston Highway? What is it called? I keep calling it Dalston Highway. Dempster? Yeah. Do you have a spare tyre? Do you know how to fit a spare tyre? Do you have snow chains? Do you have spare fuel? 
Do you have a car manual? Do you have a car <laughs> Do you have a car? No, we don't have a car manual. We don't have service on our phones. We don't have a satellite phone. We don't have recovery breakdown, even though we said we should do it. We're worried about the capabilities of our van. We don't know how good we are driving in snow. We put the snow chains on this morning, but I mean, it's anyone's guess if they're gonna work. Putting on a spare tire, I mean, I've seen it done, but that doesn't mean I know how I'm gonna do it myself. We haven't checked the oil. There's a bit of metal hanging off the underside of the chassis. I mean, I know we say that adventures are good for pushing boundaries, but is this just a push too far? By this point in the journey, James and I had been driving for 8-10 to 10 hours a day, but that was on paved roads. The Dempster Highway was an altogether different beast. Stretching 740 kilometres from Dawson City all the way out to Inuvik on the Arctic Ocean, the Dempster Highway was to be our toughest road yet. Originally it was a dog sleigh track which was then constructed into a road in 1979 which means that anyone wanting to drive to the Arctic Circle now could, or at least anyone mad enough. We're on the Dempster Highway, en route to the Arctic Circle, and it is getting cold and snowy. It's been about 350 kilometers since we were in the last town, or since we saw any kind of fuel, we're coming up to Eagle Plains, which is going to be the next place we rebuild. But it is a bit of a wasteland out here. It's exactly what you'd expect it to look like in the Arctic. Sixty, four hundred kilometers up the Dempster. 
I mean, we got lucky with the weather, but to be honest, it was still pretty sketchy. Draws a crowd of suitors. Oh, desperate to mate. The strongest toad in the pond. believe this we've had our first I mean really sub-zero night and all of the metal is frozen inside our van these windows as well we've got frost on them and uh, luckily we've got some tea boiling to keep us warm Woo! but it was a cold cold night last night let's open that vent Been through a lot. <laughs> Look at those windows. <sighs> That's where we're going. the inside faster than it can do frost. Taking it slow, as you can see, conditions are bad, but today is the day we reach the Arctic Circle. What are we doing? We're driving on an ice road into the Arctic Circle in a 30 year old Chevy van. I'm going about 40. Brakes feel okay. We're driving along a green ski run. Look at that, that could easily be, if not a green ski run, a telemark ski run. Look at that, cross country skiing. Oh yeah. Green piece, but with serious dangers in the van. An old van. If you're wondering what it looks like 30 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle, here it is. More snow, more ice, and more danger. During this stretch of road, James and I experienced the worst skid of our lives. We lost control of the vehicle and the back wheels swung out across the road five or six times. In that 20 seconds, our hearts stopped and the trip, as we saw it, ceased to exist. You know who you are! You're in the Arctic Circle, baby! 
baby! You ready? Boy, am I. Let's do this. Arctic Circle! <laughs> and there is the van that got us there. <laughs> oh. We made it! Woo! This is what the Arctic Circle looks like. It is a snowy wasteland. now Matthew bravo we haven't got back so it's not over but we still made it to the Arctic Circle I will always always remember this moment for the rest of my life so we made it to the Arctic Circle from here on out everything is south all the way through the North America Central America South America to the bottom of Argentina we've got a long way to go and a lot more adventures along the way so buckle in, because it's going to be a dangerous ride. Ooh. Ooh. Matt, I think you're going too quick. Take a spin. We're on our way back. Matt's driving. He's a very safe driver. Well, Although, that's not true. I had the worst skids so far. He has had the worst skids, but today's been the worst conditions we've driven in and we're really grateful to our car chili our chevrolet it's been an absolute wonder funnily enough we haven't used snow chains once and it's snowing and we're in the arctic so the jury's out on whether they're necessary maybe it's just false luck but we're not we're not nearly safe yet we have to get back and uh, that's about 35 kilometers away so we can take it slow, 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 slow. We can take all day to get there, as long as we get there in one piece. That's come the... on, son, come on. Come on, son. You can do it. Shine your sanguine rays down on this world. You plan these adventures and you think, you know, you try and plan for the worst case scenario, but when you get out there and all the safety nets are gone, it's just so nerve wracking and so scary. I know we're not back yet, but it's really pushed us to our limits, this one. This is Eagle Plains. <laughs> That's sliding in the snow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Woo! My heart is still thumping. Me too. Excuse Good me. drive, well done. Thanks mate. It was nerve wracking. Even right up to the end of skidding. It's just, we had to do it, we just had to get there. Day driving south on our 
Pan American Adventure. We are just leaving Eagle Plains now and we've still got 300 kilometers of this dangerous ice road, Dawson Highway. Dempster. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Every time. Low on water. Yeah. Low on food supplies. Yeah. Charges just gone. Yeah. No service. Nothing. So business as usual. Business as usual. Um, so yeah, long drive. Hopefully my back doesn't feel as bad as it does right now. Yeah, you're going to have to come in here at some point. Have a bit of faith. Yeah, I think you've got to come a bit closer in. You want to be on the lip, basically. Yeah, that's a good line. Keep that line. Yeah. There you go. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. No, go that way. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh man, thanks for that. So what happened? I slipped back with downhill. Wow, that was sketchy. <laughs> we came around the corner. I was going about thirty, and a. Lorry has just jackknifed across the middle of the road and the front end of it is just hanging right on this kind of lip which drops down into the forest. That and truck was over the edge. And part of that truck was over the edge. And I started braking and it caught on the black it was black ice around the corner and I couldn't stop. It was like juttering and we were sliding closer to it. Trying to get over to the verge. Managed to stop in the snow, but then we're in the middle of the road. We were skidding. Took us 10 seconds too long to stop. Took ages. And then I managed to get in the snow on the side, and there's a tiny gap. The guy says, Oh, yeah, you can fit through. <laughs> it was I start going down, and, I, and the wheels start skidding, trying to go off. So we, we're now in potential, not only getting stuck, but sliding into the ditch as well. And we just managed to squeeze past. <laughs> and the guy just goes, Don't film this. I was like, oh, my camera's on. Don't film this. I was like, oh. Yeah, Matt just stopped after his I was like, big sorry, camera. Matt. Was like, sorry. Don't, don't, right. don't want to get you fired. Ice there. You can see the layer of ice on the top.
yet. And the little stuff. <laughs> every time, every single time I get that wrong. Oh, That's a really good name. First tarmac road. Oh my god. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Dempster Highway sign. I feel like we survived an ordeal. In fact, these are the hardest conditions we've ever hiked in. We'd be fools if we died on our first hike in the year gone. We're about to do some prospecting. Sifting for my fortunes. Some bits look shinier than others. 